playing AI lip sync tutorial for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're looking to build amazing videos and you want to build lip sync videos, then you are in the right place because today we're going to be using Kling AI to build amazing lip sync videos and much, much more. So let's get started. Now to get started, the first step that you're going to have to do is head on over to klingai.com and then click on create. Once you click on create, you will be led to app.klingai from where you're going to sign up for a free account. You get 166 credits completely for free and these will be renewed every month if you are going to log in every month. Now from here, you can proceed with building your lip sync video. Now, how can we build lip sync videos? Starting off, you're going to go into AI generation on the left and just click on image. Once you do that, you will see some effects, then you will see video generation, sound generation, and then at the bottom, you will see AI virtual try-ons, lip sync, as well as the extend feature. So if you go into lip sync over here, you can drag, drop, or use your history, which means any pre-existing videos you've created, and start building lip syncs off of those videos. So we also have some sample content. You guys can see that this is a character that is just sitting, and we can start building our own lip sync. And you can just input the text that you would like the character to be saying. Now, currently, it is only supporting English and Chinese, so if there is any other language you would want to lip sync, that's not possible as of yet, but maybe in the future that might be introduced within Kling AI. So what I am going to do is I'm going to open this particular upload and this is one of the videos I have created when I was using Kling AI and this is our character. So this is our character over here and now what I'm going to do is that on the right the first thing I'm going to do is type in my text which will detect the speech time. Now my clip is 5 seconds long which means the text that I put in should be either 5 seconds or less than 5 seconds. So I'm going to write I am the true queen. And this is a very short text. Now, below that, you will see your speech time. Now, it's taking around three seconds with the basic reader, but obviously, I want to use a female voice. So, I'm going to click on female, and you will see you have young woman, old woman, middle aged, old people voices, kid voices, as well as professional voices. Now, I'm going to try out a bunch of these, and I'm just going to take a look at all of these voices. I prefer this one a lot. So it's taking around two seconds and I really do like this. Now we have the speech rate and we can actually slow this down as well. Now after that, we can choose the emotion. I'm gonna speed this up to one X and then we can choose the emotion. Now the emotion that we're gonna go with is happy and then we can play this again to view what it sounds like. Once done, you're going to choose where you want this to be placed and then click on add speech. Now the speech has been added to the bottom. Now if you click on play, you guys will see that your character is going to have the mouthing once you click on generate on the right. So I want to place this. I'm going to have to make sure where I want to place this. And I'm going to place this at the end of the video, okay? So at this part where she's walking, like so. So I'm going to click on generate over here. And right now it is going to start lip syncing our video to the text that we have typed in. Now our text is pretty short, so it's not going to be too difficult. Obviously, you can add more text. You can add as much text as much as the video content is. So if you have a 10 second long clip, if you have a 20 second long clip, you can truly add whatever you prefer. Now, it took less than a minute for this to be completed, and this is what it sounds like. So, like so, it is lip syncing, and we have the audio as well. I can play the audio, and this is a very nice sync. So, I really do like the results of this lip sync that has been created using our original reference video. That, again, this video in itself was also created by using Kling AI's text to video editor. Now, in this way, we can add basic lip syncing to any one of our videos. You even see some of these videos that are provided in the hints and you can proceed with adding those and viewing and adding whatever you want. Usually if you have a very still shot of a person just looking into the camera or looking in one direction then it makes it easier for you to add lip syncing because when you add that type of lip syncing there is not a lot of clash between the movement of the character and the lip syncing. If your character is moving like our character was moving so our character 
picture over here, you can see she is walking. So when you introduce two types of elements, so two types of movements together, then it can be slightly more difficult. However, still, lip syncing on Kling AI is an amazing feature. Not only that, but you can click on extend and you can extend any one of your clips. So if you have any video and you want to further expand the scene or you want it to just be a longer video or clip, you can go into the extend feature and then add the clip from your history and extend upon it. You can introduce more elements into your scenes as well. Now, Kling AI also has text to image as well as image reference based images you can create. You also have video generation that is directly done from text, video generation done from images, as well as multi-elements. So what exactly are multi-elements? Well, you can upload different elements that can help you in adding them appropriately. So you can upload videos to edit as well as include multiple other elements in one singular video. So if you have maybe a frog or a dog or a cat that you want to include in the video, but you want the original version of that to be included, then you can add that directly in the element section. You can click on add or delete to add those mp4 or mov files and you have a max you know, 100 megabyte size for this. You can also go into the stock library for images that are provided by Kling AI. So you guys can see you have these types of images that can be used and included within your videos. Not only that, but you have the effect section which allows you to browse some of the popular effects that are running around on social media making everyone, you know, uh, participate in all the basic trends and then if you go into the home page you can actually take a look at some of the other creations that are being made you can click on shorts to view some of the short videos people are creating what types of videos are people going to be creating using Kling AI and you can get some inspiration when you click on anyone's generation you will be able to view whatever they have typed on and their print all of this is AI generated so we can follow these accounts to gain more inspiration and insight. Not only that, but we are also able to gain more credits for only $79 per year. And the monthly subscription is only $6.99 for 660 credits per month with fast track generation, professional mode for videos, and watermark removal. And their plans go up to $64 per month at their premier plan, which includes 1,000 credits per month. If you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video.